User Experience Design. Students in the User Experience Design major begin creating user experiences the second semester of their freshman year. They learn by doing how to create artifacts and services that are easy to use, easy to learn, and overall provide delightful user experiences. In order to create opportunities for delightful user experiences, students practice various methods and techniques of user-centered design, learn principles of design and usability, and acquire a solid understanding of the human mind in general and specific user groups in particular. When given a problem to solve, for example, how to improve driver and passenger ratings and services such as Lyft or Uber, students begin by learning how to think about and reframe the problem itself in order to get at its root. They might conduct interviews and observations in order to understand people's current experiences with shared transportation and ratings. They examine people's current experiences in order to identify aspects that can be improved. Then they might sketch ideas and construct various prototypes that improve upon the issues they identified. Students then test these prototypes to validate that they indeed are better. They repeat this process until they find a satisfactory solution. Along the way, students learn to communicate their ideas about design and persuade colleagues and supervisors of their validity. Students present their ideas informally to other students and receive feedback. They create formal presentations that pitch their ideas and learn how to document their solutions, their rationale, and process in a format that is used in the industry. All of this is typical of the work of a UX designer and translates directly into industry careers in UX. Psychology, computer science, sociology, management, entrepreneurship, communication, and art are some of the more relevant minors, and many of these are actually areas required in the curriculum for the UX design major. Psychology helps UX designers understand the human mind and design in ways that make sense immediately to users, so that products are intuitive, in other words. If we want artifacts such as a mobile app to be user-friendly, they must first be easy to understand and easy to figure out. Sociology enables UX designers to understand how technology can impact society and the way individuals communicate and make meaning in groups. This perspective allows UX designers to consider issues such as culture, collaboration, and equality of access and the impact of these issues on the design of technological systems. Computer science and related programming skills enable UX designers to bring their ideas to life. Not all UX designers write code, and if they do, it might not be as advanced as that of a computer scientist. But, at the very least, UX designers need to be able to speak the language of developers so they can collaborate with them effectively. Management and entrepreneurship are important for career growth. They empower UX designers to align UX goals to strategic business goals and advance their careers in leadership positions. Communication is paramount in all careers and is one of the top skills employers seek. Whether it is communicating with colleagues, giving presentations, or writing reports, Ideas are only as good as your capacity to communicate them. Art will help students develop an appreciation for visual aesthetics, and some basic ability in visual design are useful skills in UX. While UX designers are not usually graphic designers, they often work with them, and it is important to understand their language and way of thinking in order to improve collaboration. UX as a profession is growing at a tremendous rate. It has application in any field where you can envision a user interacting with a computing system or technology artifact. Applications range from the obvious, websites, software, mobile applications, smartwatches, to specific contexts or settings such as hospitals, manufacturing, cars, airplanes, and more. At a more advanced level, UX designers create entire experiences that span multiple places and spaces, both physical and virtual. A graduate of this major would most likely work in UX design. Within UX, there are a multitude of roles and specializations. For example, some graduates might choose to specialize in user research. They would conduct observations and interviews and summarize insights that they have learned about human beings into requirements for better design. Others might choose to specialize in interaction design and focus on implementing design requirements at the interface level. Others yet might go into more technical aspects that bridge UX design with coding and development or engineering. Testing prototypes and early products is another career option, as is the management of UX process in careers such as product or product management. The UX major is structured around two types of studio courses, learning studios and experience studios. But first, what's a studio? A studio is not your typical class. It's a class where you work hands-on on projects and get a lot of feedback and mentoring along the way from your peers and your professor. The UX major has five levels of learning studios. 
the freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. The freshman studio is where students learn the basics of thinking like a UX designer. Sophomores in Studio 2 learn how to design for the screen, and sophomores in Studio 3 learn how to design larger user experiences that span more than one medium, as well as physical and augmented reality UX environments. Juniors and seniors take Studio 4, which is about UX strategy, where students learn to interface with related professions, such as management and computer science, and Studio 5 is where a student can choose their own area of specialization. The learning studios are cohort-specific, meaning that only freshmen take level one, sophomores levels two and three, etc. The experience studios, on the other hand, bring all levels together. In the experience studios, students of all levels work in teams to do UX design for real clients. Clients can come from industry, nonprofit, or other parts of the university. Each team has at least one freshman, one sophomore, and one junior. Seniors usually take a year-long capstone course, but they're welcome in experience studios too. Experience Studios provide students the opportunity to get real-world experience, to hone their professional communication and project management skills. 